again. Hello. Welcome back. Where? Part four, finally. We're in Travis Town. Well, we just arrived in Travis Town. Sora's like, I'm here. I have Where done, am I? <laughs> I have done absolutely nothing besides just stand there for like 15 minutes. This is totally weird. Am I a different world? Yay, celebrate! And finally we get the music playing. And the music should play in the menu. It was just the fact that the music hadn't loaded into the game yet. Oh my god, it's an emo. It's a Tidus lookalike. Emo Tidus. He looks somewhere between depressed and angry. Mm. But he's still an emo Tidus. You gotta go into every shop. Oh. It's just the shop. <sighs> it's a pain, but yeah. It's Sid! Hi, oh, Sid! My. Hey there. How can I. Oh, I'm a kid. Yeah, I'm not a kid. The name's Sora. <laughs> okay, okay. Simmer down. So, why the long face, Sora? You lost or something? No, well, maybe. Where are we? Huh? Travis Town. So, Grams, is this really another world? Don't call me Grams. Name's Sid. Anyway, I'm not. Uh, sorry, I can't talk. <laughs> uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure what you're talking about, but I'm sure. I'm sure this ain't your island. Hmm. Guess I better start looking for Riku and Kyrie. Well, good luck with whatever it is you're doing. If you run into trouble, you come. You come to me. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I'll look out for you. <laughs> oh, how nice. Cheers, Sid. Thank you, Sid. <clears throat> Sid. Sid. Save the game. Save the game. There you go. There's that prowl fire we were waffling on about. Uh, I don't remember waffling on about it. You said it right in episode one. You were like, oh, yeah. oh we're playing prowl. Oh, yes. The beginner mode file. <laughs> Where? Where is the beginner mode file? Da down to file five. Beginner mode. Okay. Kingdom Hearts final mix. Beginner mode. That was the uh, file that I got that trophy on. Oh yeah. For uh, beating the game in under fifteen hours, I think it was. Yeah. Here we are. We're level five. We're so tiny compared to the other files. We are only level five. Level five. Only level five. Run away. Running. Right, where's the item shop? Is it? Uh. Oh, no, it's only the district, isn't it? Yeah, you just have to visit all the shops in this district, if I remember correctly. I don't know how I said that, but only because I said this one. You got the Moogle shop, which you can't do anything with yet. Currently closed off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Of course it is. Yeah, you essentially just have to visit everywhere in like the area. Ah! There we go. I am going to steal your heart now. He fell over. Oh no, he fell over and that is why he died. And became a heartless. Bye. That looked cool. Hello. Of course it is. <laughs> I missed the first two swings. <laughs> Don't forget to collect your money. You're gonna need money, it. Money, 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 money. I'm not kidding. You, you need thousands of money. Money, 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 money. Money, 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 money. It's just like real life. Oh god, I didn't start on real life. <laughs> you need money, but you don't really want it. No, I want all the money, the monies. Money! You know, it despawns eventually. Just, whatever you do, don't drop. Don't drop? Don't, don't drop into that middle area. Oh it's not for a little while. Because that middle area is kind of a bit of a pain in the butt to get your ass out of. Especially uh, after the deep jungle. Because it, they um, bring in... Oh gosh, I can't remember which one ones it is. The monkeys which fire from slingshots oh, at you. Yeah. The pink ones. The Lady Power Wild. Yeah. I think they're called Skater Wild. Is it a Skater or a Power Wild? I can't remember which one it is. Hmm. Where is he? Leon. <laughs> yes, they're looking for Leon. Well, sadly, they were playing the wrong game. <laughs> it's for them to find Leon. Oh yeah, they're not playing Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> Pokemon Sword and Shield. Go, cool, Leon. 
Yeah, but then again, I think they would just if they have just as much trouble finding Leon in that game as they are <laughs> finding Leon in this game. <laughs> because Leon says the direction. <laughs> there you go, slap shot. That's your first ability. Really? Yeah. It's actually pretty good. Oh. Especially, especially for the early game. It's really good for the early game. Just bash heartless. Yeah. Oh no. It's really good for creating combos. Like, you know when you hear a sound and then you're like, but that sound cannot be real. And it's, you think, it's from the, the cuckoos in the shop. Yeah, I know. I, I, I thought I heard something and I was like, yeah, maybe what is that? that? Sound the cuckoo. <laughs> It, it kind of reminded me of when Archie's caught a bird, and then he like mouths. Archie's a cat, just saying everyone. Yes, he is. That's why I said he mouths, and obviously it's, it's like muffled because he's got yeah, a bird like, in his mouth. Like, mouth, 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 mouth. And, his, and his mouths are normally really loud. Oh god, yeah. He's not inside at the moment, so you won't be able to hear him anytime soon. He's presently lying on a car. Somewhere. <laughs> Yeah, so we have three cats, in case anyone was wondering. Kit, Basil, and Archie. Kit is lying in the same room as us. She's she... lazy. <laughs> She's not lazy. She was recently injured. She got a, um, a hernia. Diaphragm so... hernia. Yeah, so basically she got injured. She went missing for five days. And then all of her like stuff that should be in her abdomen went up through her diaphragm and ended up in her chest. And apparently, according to the vets, some some of it like got attached to the sack around her heart, so she had to have a really bad surgery, and she had to stay in an overnight like cattery vet place for two nights, was it? Yeah, two nights. And then she had to spend six weeks in a cage. She's in, out now. Yeah, she's out now. He's got but she one. also um, apparently broke the base of her tail, and her tail and her pelvis all shifted left so now she also has a little bit of a problem walking right yeah she's okay she goes outside <laughs> in a harness which is so, so adorable <laughs> yeah exactly. we've, we've um spoken to some of our neighbors and she's a very so she was anyway before she got injured a very social cat go see the dogs doggos and so they were all like oh we really miss her you know like sitting in our front garden coming inside, stealing our food, you know, that sort of thing. So yeah, and then Basil's a year old. He's a adorable tiny ginger, but he's presently sleeping on our parents' bed. He's just, they're all the same. Yeah, they are. They're all being cats. <laughs> Which is sleeping 18 hours a day, moaning for food twice a day, and then Pretending they've not been fed, <laughs> and you think that they have been, but then you don't know if they have been fed or not. And then you feed them again, and then they end up getting fat, and then you end up with a cat that weighs nearly six kilos. That's not happened. Archie weighs nearly six kilos. He's not fat though. He's he looks like he's not been fed. Yeah, he, he's a very lean cat. That's what he is. Very cute. Of course, but you he refuse is. to pick him up. Of course I refused to pick him up because he scratched my face three times in his entire 12 years of being alive. He's that cute fluffy. And only one of those times was actually my fault. True. Only once. So he struck me once on Boxing Day before I figured out how to actually carry a cat properly. You were very young though. Yes I was. He was like what a year old? Something yeah. like that. We got them all from kittens, so yeah. Well, um, besides from Kit. Yeah, we got Kit uh, from our neighbour. And then she had three kittens, who were called obviously you know, Archie, and then his sister Molly, who's sadly now dead. She's not no longer with us. Yeah. And then Jack, who we gave to our uncle, because he wanted another cat, but he didn't like a black and white one. So Jack was completely, well, he was a 100% black cat. Yep. So. Oh, the actor. Yeah, Jack Black. <laughs> yeah, that's what he's <laughs> Black Jack. Jack Black. Yeah. Oh, so. I was obsessed with Kung Fu Panda at the time. Yes. Well, you didn't name them. Kieran did. Oh, yes. Yeah, so, yeah, our brother named them. Yeah. Um. So he ended up being given Jack because he didn't want a black and white one because his last one, who was called Badger, was black and white, and he obviously passed. Molly was one with a birth defect, 
and the person who we got Kit from, she said that she wanted Molly, but our mum refused to give her a gift Molly to her because she was born with a birth defect. She had a problem breathing. Yeah, so she was, the the woman who we got a, got Kit from wanted one of our kittens to basically make more cats. She was with... she was essentially a professional cat breeder. Kind of. A fresh... Professional cat breeder in uh, air quotation marks because yeah. yeah, she didn't really treat the cats very well. No, basically, if you look at Kit's tail, well, you probably won't because there's a chance that we might never show it to you. But um, you stroke it down and it kind of ends really suddenly. Yeah, very so we, abrupt. So we always th- thought that like she got her tail trapped in a door or something. Like obviously, some cats can be born can have really short tails. But she was only like a year old when we got her. Mm. And her tail has always been really short. And the woman who we got her from had two young kids at the time. So it's entirely possible that she, that she could have had her tail trapped in her door. Yeah, by the kids. Yeah. And then obviously she lost the end of the tail. It's possible. It is completely possible, but just what happens. Mm. Where are we going with this? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's waffling about cats. <laughs> Yeah. Which are probably a lot of people in the in the um, uh, watching <laughs> got cats. If you've got a cat, um, in the uh, put a comment saying that meow meow. Like <laughs> no meow meow <laughs> in the comment yeah. section. Yeah. If you want to. Yeah. Anyway, uh, Basil, he was seven weeks old when we got him. It was from one of Rianne's colleagues. Basically, she had a cat and she was moving. To Scotland. Yeah, she's going back to Scotland. Yeah, she was she was moving to Scotland, and her cat was had just had kittens, so she was moving back with her parents. She wasn't able to bring all the cats with with her. The mother cat had three cat had three kittens. No, four. four, four kittens, and one of them was a calico. Yeah, we want one of that one. She um she passed away. from yeah. brain hemorrhage. Yeah, she had she had a problem with her brain, and she sadly. She yeah. fell off and she, yeah, it wasn't, yeah, it wasn't fun. And then uh, she checked all the, the other three cats and they were all fine. Um, our mum really wanted Basil because he was this giant puffball yeah. at that young. <laughs> and he had blue eyes, which are now like an ambery colour. And he was ginger and white. So we ended up with Basil. And when we first brought him inside, we put him in our conservatory. And he couldn't even walk right. He kept on falling over himself. It was very cute. <laughs> Remember, eight weeks, I believe. He was seven weeks old. Seven weeks. My bad. Yeah, which technically is young. It's unideal. You don't normally give cats away until they're about eight to ten weeks. But it wasn't that bad. Because around that point is when the mother cat will teach the kittens how to hunt for themselves about the seven week mark so you gotta let them learn all their skills first before you start giving them away but she was moving away to scotland pretty soon so she kind of had to do a balancing act that's all fine he's hunting he's still cute yeah, oh yeah i don't hate when they bring back birds though same problem no nah. i hate it more when they bring back birds and you and they're like still and they, and they like still have I'm not even going to finish that statement because it's probably a little bit too... Uh... They uh, still have their... Um... They've, not, they've not been done. What are they trying to say? Wait, what? What are you trying to say? They've, they've, they've not been done. They've not been spayed, neutered, whatever. No. Oh. When they bring back like actual birds, like oh, physical right. animal birds, and they still oh, have... still alive. No, they still have the head attached. So yeah, it's still, still alive! No, you can still see the lifeless eyes of the bird because it's had neck snapped. Oh, so, stop! <laughs> That's why I wasn't going to say it! I thought you were about... I wasn't really paying attention. No, um, you weren't. I was trying to figure out... Okay, where do we go? I've, I've lost the plot. Okay, you've been to the Valmation house. Yeah, okay, yes. Okay, where was the last place that you saw Donald and Goofy come out of? Uh, I came in here and they popped up that other bit. So, where I came from. Up they came from the Gizmo house. Yes. Okay, you don't go into another district. That's right. thing number one. Hello, guys. 
Just ignore them at this point. Right. Uh, have you been in the hotel? No. Go in the hotel. Oh, you can tell I've been ages. Yeah, you can. And go out? Let's go out again? Same door? No. <laughs> it was supposed to be out the other door. Oh, you just said. I was going to, and then you went out the door. Yeah, you're silly. <laughs> I'm not the silly one, you are. Current closed off, current closed off, current closed off. Only one of them is the green room. And then you go out the district, the first one, I think. We will figure it out. Hello, sirs. Hello. I think I have to go into the item shop. Yeah, you have to go back into the accessory shop. Oh, do you? Oh. Yeah. If the item shop isn't available yet, go in. And then you have to leave, I think. I'll just talk to Sid. I'll just talk to Sid. look around okay. town. Sora! Unable yeah. to go upstairs. Again, I told there you. you. There we go. There he is. Who are you? I think we should rename ourselves to, to Leon. <laughs> so always choose as a kid. I shouldn't hear it. Let's see that keyblade. What? There's no way you're getting this. Just take, just let him usually use you as a punching bag until you fall unconscious. Yeah, true. Oh, uh, well, I'll see if I can, how quickly I can smack him. Ow, or get smacked one or the other. I've actually been able to defeat him once. I'm, I'm gonna do it. It's a pain. I can't, oh, I don't dodge, I can't dodge. I can't dodge! You don't have dodge roll yet? Oh, you still have tech points though. Well done. I recommend you get a tech boost at some point. Oh. When you get a tech boost, use it. Don't, don't use any items. Why? Because you're wasting them. Okay. Yeah! Oh, I lost. Oh, shit. Oh, well. Doesn't really matter. You still keep the EXP that you gained. He beat me. I've never beat him. It is always a pain to try and beat Leon. You said Leon at the same time. <laughs> What, because it's a kid that has the kingdom key? Or is it something else? Yeah, keyblade. keyblade. It's the kingdom key, keyblade. Alright. Oh! Oh! Oh, this cutscene! I forget this cutscene exists. Cause because it wasn't in the original game, that's why. Yeah, it doesn't show you what happened to Riku. Yeah, not in the original, original game. You know, the one that's on the PlayStation 2. Back in 2001. Woo! I don't know why they didn't add his audio. Because he wasn't supposed to have audio. Basically, the whole point is that, that Sora's supposed to be seeing this whilst he's unconscious. If that makes sense. Oh, right, I see. Because the whole like thing with them being a trio is the fact that like they're connected in some way. I don't really get it, but this is, this is what I get from this scene. So whilst Sora's unconscious, he sees where um, Riku is because he still has his heart. Whereas, well, Excuse me, did the king send you? The decent Aerith voice. Hi, Aerith. You look like you belong in a horror film. <laughs> <laughs> Her eyes. Come on, lazy bum. Wake up. Hello. Ah, oh, there we go. All right, we're gonna have All to right. stop it here. Okay. See you guys in the next episode. Well, we're just gonna watch a whole bunch of cutscenes for probably the first ten minutes, but oh well. Oh, All right. Well. See you. Bye.